Hey, it's Anthony and Tucker with Land Title. We came today to bring you the Boulder County Market Update for the month of February. Lots of interesting stuff going on. This is our lender edition, just meant for you. So here's what's going on with the market right now. Our inventory is obscenely low, which is really forcing the bidding wars that are taking place. It's forcing the under contracts to slow down just a little bit more than we'd like to see and a rocket ship for, for a price appreciation, right? So that's kind of the highlight in the overview, but let's get into this. Yeah, so let's just go on. ahead and take a look at our year over year. February to February, we're up 26%. That's a massive increase on the average sales price. Now, of course, it uh, changes a little bit from market to market, price points, but overall, 26% increase is just unbelievable year over year. And everyone goes, is it a bubble, is it a bubble? Once again, we don't think it's a bubble at all, and it's purely based on the demographics. More people are moving here than we have homes available. It's pretty simple when you break it down like that. Of course, it's always more complex if you want it to be, but it's as simple as we have way more folks who want to buy and live in a house here than we have houses available. And that's really what's driving these absolutely astonishing uh, appreciation rates and that average sold price up 26%. Yeah, and I think a big part of this too is remember that the detached and the attached market at this point are finally trending to the point where they're really, really similar. So one of the things we wanted to talk with you a little bit about is like where is this inventory in the county? Um, you can see that about half of the inventory from this slide is popping up in the city of Boulder, which obviously doesn't represent half of the homes. It's like a third of the homes on the market, so it shouldn't really be half of all inventory, right? I mean, we have basically 45,000 homes in the city of Boulder. We have 140,000 homes in the county. And we have 75 total houses on the market in the city of Boulder. So obviously, that swing, and we're just way on the and way of, into the pendulum. And a lot of that is just because they're, as we all know, more expensive homes. But as, as we look to the other areas of our county with a little bit more affordability, fortunately, Longmont's finally picked up some. But they're still far too low compared to Boulder, and that's because their price points are more affordable. They're not having right. inventory sitting. And then we're also starting to really see the fallout from the fires. There's just nothing for sale in Louisville. Superior's down as well. And that's really yeah. because a lot of folks we've talked to aren't selling. They're holding on and renting from there for the next well, couple of years. It really affected Lafayette as well quite a bit, and a lot of the county, right, in many mm -hmm. respects. So that is concerning. To really articulate this a little bit better, the month supply of inventory, I think, is a good way to just visualize it and see. And you can see here that 0.34 months of inventory has really given us this point where we're like 10x less than a balanced market, right? 10x less than we were in 2019, really. Which was still a good year if you remember back. I mean, it wasn't bad and we were starting to feel a little bit of a little bit of wiggle room there. Yeah. That's how it felt. And, that was and here we are. And that was when your interest rates trade. started going up as well. So when your interest rates started going up, we still had a decently strong market through 2019 and into 2020. And then, of course, the pandemic hit, and we all know what happened. So there is hope. It's not the end of the world that rates are going up, as you know. People are, where demand is so high, people are going to keep buying and selling houses. It's keeping up with the demand of the product type that's going to be hard. Because everyone's asking you now to 14-day closes, 21-day closes, really pushing you and trying to pull those rabbits out of the hat. And the hard part is there's no other option because someone else will do it. So it's becoming a lot more competitive on your side. So that's why we're here to help support you in any way we can. Yep. One of the big things that is really important for you as a lender is just to understand the speed of the market. So when we talk about speed of market, everything is active to under contract. And here we have hit that at 20 days, right? So these are really, really fast. I mean, 20 days doesn't seem fast, but then when you look at places like Superior and Iwat or Louisville at, you know, seven or 10 days, to put that in perspective, the fastest markets in the country last year, we were number two at eight days in the Denver metro area. And here we are at, you know, significantly closer to where we were last year. Yeah. And if you look at Niwot or Superior at less than eight days, they were they would have been ranked number one in the country last year, right? So mm -hmm. then things are moving very fast. And this is February. We were talking May. And then also something to really look at here is look at the trends over the last few years since 2019. This is how our market's moving. And every year has been a hotter market than it was before in tighter inventory. We don't expect this to alleviate, unfortunately, which is really going to continue to driving these you know, bidding wars and testing y'all's creativity as lenders of how do we get my how do we get our folks on a contract when they have 20 percent down at the list price but by the time of the bidding war they only have five percent so it's having to have those kinds of conversations and figuring out some of these you know different programs and implementing some of these cash buy programs 
it's going to be essential to stay competitive. Um, now, of course, there's always room for that traditional mortgage, but things are moving so fast right now that it's hard to get those off. It's harder, not impossible, it's harder to get those offers accepted. As you can see, there's plenty of stuff selling, right? There's plenty of mortgages happening. There's plenty of people, buyers out there that are actually being successful. So I think that's one of the most important things to articulate here is just, this is not a bad situation for everybody. This is very positive for sellers. And there are a lot of buyers that are capitalizing in this market as well. And they really are getting a lot of appreciation even through the year. But you can see the luxury market is just booming. I mean, people are coming in droves to live in Boulder County and the luxury market is definitely a large portion of that and we're not hitting a price cap either so we haven't hit a, we haven't hit the maximum yet we right. haven't it kind of, seen the market is still trending very strongly and we're still finding buyers as the market continues to pick up speed so that's a really good sign for you as lenders is that just because prices are going up doesn't mean folks aren't going to be needing you if anything they're going to need you more than ever to help support these large purchase prices these over asking you know, and making sure they're financed and they're capitalized because of inflation and all these other factors. Great time right now to be parking money in real estate. Yeah, and the really crazy part about this is the bottom end of the market is basically evaporating because of all of these market conditions. So those loan those loan volumes should continue to rise because people are having to borrow more and more money. Get your jumbos ready. Yeah, get your jumbos ready because <laughs> they haven't been. Uh, our conforming amounts are not even remotely comparable to what we need them to be right now, which is unfortunate, but it's absolutely just kind of the truth. Well, and that's always been the trend is. is you know we move by our uh, we always move by that conventional amount is how much you know typically we can see the market move. We're already past that for this year alone. We've already appreciated more than that increase was for last year. And so we're gonna keep outpacing those numbers, unfortunately, and that's where it's gonna to have to be using more of those 80-10-10s and other creative financing tools and uh, products to really help your folks get under contract on those higher price points. So once we get into the month supply of inventory and days on market by price range, you can really see here the market as a whole we talk about four months to six months being that sort of balanced market, even seller and buyer being on even footing, even up in the three million range, right? We're less than that. We're never usually less than that. We trend 12 to 18 months at three plus million generally. That just goes to show you just how many more people are in that buyer pool, right? Even though there are a lot of homes coming on and off the market, you know, we hear about people building products that are 10 million, right? It's just really mm -hmm. a big shift in the market here. The other real issue, and this is where most of you are working, is under a million and a half, we have less than a week of inventory on the market, right? And so you know that, we can see that. This should help articulate that to some of those buyers. And when we talk about acting quickly, acting swiftly when you're in that market, I mean, look at six to 800,000. It's a really good example here. We only have eight days on market for that section. So fastest moving market that we see in the country, probably, right? Or at least really similar to that, where it doesn't really get a lot faster than that. It can't really get a lot faster than that. You know, we see a lot of that sort of stuff taking place. Um, that's kind of frictional timeline, mm -hmm. right? I mean, that's basically a weekend of bidding wars and however long it takes for that realtor to click the button off market. Right? <laughs> I mean, Make that's sure what they, it wait, feels wait for like. the earnest way to be delivered before yeah. they click the button. Right? Exactly, <laughs> yeah. So that's what we're seeing and that's what we're, we're feeling here. The the other thing that I think is really important for us to talk about, Tucker, let's skip all the way over to price point. And yeah, let's go to price point. The biggest points. thing that I think people need to understand is the list to sale price is much higher than it has been in years past. We basically in February hit the May time frame last year, right? May being the peak of the market almost every single year for list of sale price. So stuff that sells in May, right? That means that's more of like an April market time frame where those are going under contract. And here we are seeing them in February at huge bidding wars. Part of this is due to the Marshall fires, right? Mm -hmm. But that is not all of the situation. And that is not what, what started the market rising so quickly. There's just so many buyers in the buyer pool that that is what happens when you have no homes being built or not nearly enough homes being built. I shouldn't say none. There are definitely homes being built all over but they're the place. Taking, but the supply chain issues, they're taking longer and longer to get under contract. And it's, it's just the way it's going right now. It's just getting harder and harder. There's less inventory. And, but the good news is, is there is more inventory coming on the market from the listing side. And what that will help do is it'll help kind of fuel the market and give hope to the buyers yep. and there's still hope on the horizon. There are more houses coming than there will be last month, more houses a month after that. So we're gonna keep seeing the inventory of the new inventory increasing, which will hopefully alleviate a little bit of pressure from this list of sold price, because this list of sold price, I know is really difficult for the appraisers, because when the market's moving this fast, <laughs> they don't have the comps exactly. necessary. I mean, you see it here at one to one and a half million. We are at 109% list of sale price. 
there is very little ways for the appraisers to make that make sense at that price range, mm -hmm. right? Ten percent in one month or nine percent in one month. And that's it's unfortunate that you're not responsible for what the appraiser puts forth, but with the buyers, they look at you like that. So it's just start warning folks a little bit of how fast the market's moving. It's hard to get comps that will actually fit because as the mar as we stabilize the market here towards the end of the year, it's a lot easier to have those comps. We've already had a lot of solds. We kind of have an idea of what the market should be. Right now, we're still in this, I don't want to say it, but feeding frenzy, and that's really making it hard on these appraisers. So anything we can do to help the appraisers out, you know, your listing agents and your buyer's agents should both be concerned um, about making sure the house appraises because that's what everybody wants, and it also makes it a cleaner deal. So with that... With yeah, that, let's look got. into attached because I think this is one of the only places we really need to have a conversation between the two. We talked a little bit at the beginning of this about how the attached market is going to feel like the detached market this year. This is why. We are getting into those bidding wars very similarly that we would have in detached last year and then didn't get attached. So when we peaked the market at 103% list of sale price last year in the attached market, but in the detached market we were at you know 106%, here we are well above that this year and they're trending exactly the same. And it actually started earlier, right? You started seeing the attached market really hit in December, which didn't doesn't happen normally, right? This is a mm -hmm. big shift from usual. So lots of bidding wars across the board. There's not really that opportunity there was last year to go to attached if you got stuck. So I think we just really need to help everyone understand that really we need to look across all spectrums. If we're struggling with getting stuff under contract, we need to open up our options, open up wherever we're going, and we'll just kind of work through it that way. So mm -hmm. use this data to help support that. And you can really look down here by price point. I mean, you can see that one to one and a half million is the hottest section of the market right now, which really, I guess, doesn't surprise anyone at all these <laughs> days, but that is what it is, right? So um, if you have any other questions, of course, always reach out to Tucker and how we have all the local data, we have all the sub-market data, and we're just here as resources for you. So we're always here to help. Thanks for tuning in. We look forward to catching up, catching up with you soon. Take care. All right, bye.